Nobody is up next. That's right, I said it. Nobody. After all, what does up next even mean anymore? It's used so loosely that it's lost all value. If it even ever had any value. Does it have to do with streaming numbers? Or does it have to do with money that you're making? Does it have to do with press? Or just general internet buzz on your name? Who knows? I have been coming up with this little conspiracy theory for a little while now, and I'm not necessarily sold on it. This argument definitely has some holes in it. It's very much open for criticism and discussion, but I feel like I make a pretty good case. Let's begin. Part one, it's all about getting attention. These days, you can pretty much bank on an artist going viral or basically getting attention from something other than just kind of making a really good song. It's very rare that an artist kind of grinds little by little and people slowly start to see the progression of their music and it develops from there. It's usually something that's very shocking, whether it's a music video or something that they did on Twitter, Instagram, stupid video, something that they said, some sort of gimmick about them. There's some sort of sexy marketing thing associated with them. Blueface's whole come up has been people making fun of him for rapping off beat and then him having his quirky and weird lines in all of his songs. Then you had Doja Cat, who makes actually really phenomenal music, but she blew up because she made the Bitch I'm a Cow song slash video. Bitch I'm a cow, bitch I'm a cow, I'm not a cat, I don't say meow. You have 6 9 who blew up because, well. I let my nuts hang, right? We all know what 6 9 did. The baby was the guy that was walking around in a diaper. And Lil Nas X finessed TikTok slash meme culture on the internet. I'm sure you can think of other artists and their little gimmicks. All of these artists in their own respect make pretty decent music, but the reason why we know that is because they had to do some sort of gimmick or stunt or marketing ploy for us to get their attention. And then afterwards we were like, oh, music isn't that bad. And I just want you to keep in mind as I continue this video, I'm not necessarily saying that this is a bad or a good thing. It just is a thing. Part two, similar artists. When rappers started blowing up in groups, everything changed. You had Yachty and Uzi, Smoke Perp and Lil Pump and Ski Mask and X, Lil Baby and Gunna, the YBN guys. I could keep going. Basically, one or a couple of the artists blew up and they kind of brought their friends with them because their friends made similar music. Or they weren't even necessarily friends, they just happened to have a similar style and they blew up with them. And with streaming services, that recommends similar artists, you're able to find one person that you like and then eight other people that sound pretty much just like them. And this is good and bad. It's good because if you like this person, here's some more people that you will also like and you get to find more music that you enjoy. But the bad thing is this system doesn't reward people for individuality and originality. It rewards you for sounding like somebody else, which is why now in the mainstream and even in the underground, we see a lot of people blowing up that are just kind of derivatives or clones of other people. And it's also bad because if you are really somebody who's trying to innovate and trying to be original, it's harder for you to get noticed because you don't sound like somebody else, so they don't know how to categorize you. So you don't fit in the algorithm. Part three, nobody will fall off. Just as much as nobody's up next, nobody will fall off either because there's really no saying when you're on or when you're off. And when you have a social media following, you're able to stay in touch with your fans and your followers and your supporters and the internet in general by just continuing to post. I mean, you're really not gonna lose followers, you might lose some engagement, but you're always gonna have your audience right there with total access to them. And as far as the music goes, if you're signed to a label, or even if you're not, all you gotta do is pay these big playlist curators to put your songs at the top or in the top 20 every time you drop a song. As long as you have a giant marketing budget behind it and people already know who your name is, you're never really gonna fall off. Social media keeps people relevant because you can always be tagged in other people's pictures and you could always be doing some sort of stunt or video that could go viral. You know, just for an example, a lot of people have been talking about how Lil Pump's album flopped and his music that he's putting out recently just doesn't really have much of an impact anymore, but 
He's still getting a million likes on every picture and tons of comments. So does that still make him relevant? It's tough to say. Does music decide the relevance or does your stance as a public figure decide the relevance? Well, when you came up not really based on your music, then which one matters more? Part four, nothing is currently happening. And that kind of sounds like a really dumb statement, but if you kind of ask around to people who really pay attention to hip hop, it just really feels like nothing is happening. Nothing's really that exciting. Nothing's new, nothing's different. It's all just derivatives of what we've seen before. I feel like we got so used to the clickbait and the drama and the controversy or gimmick associated with artists that we just totally forgot about the music itself so if somebody's dropping really good music that's almost not enough anymore if somebody's dropping really good music that's almost not enough anymore and it's also harder to make good controversy because we've seen everything. So even if people were trying to just blow up based on doing stunts and gimmicks and stuff, even all of those have been done before. And it's kind of hard for me to give examples of nothing happening. Like how can I really explain, oh, there's nothing happening. But if you pay attention, just think about it. Who's really popping right now? And, and why are they popping? Have you heard something that's really changed music? Do you think that somebody who's popping off right now really has a future or really can shift the culture or change music for the better. I'm not saying I know of anybody and I'm not saying that those people aren't out there, but I'm really just asking a question. And if you can't really answer it, then that's probably a good indication of nothing's happening. I'm kind of expecting that this video left you with way more questions than answers. Which, being that it's a conspiracy theory video, I kind of expected that. But there really are some questions that I am raising to you that I feel like I just need to clarify, and I either want you guys to talk about it in the comments or just kind of think about it on your own. The biggest one is, is this just kind of a minor slump, or has hip-hop really just been kind of dull for a while now. Are these rappers that are big now more so of public figures, more known for their antics and their gimmicks rather than their music? And if so, are we gonna transition into blowing people up that really just genuinely make good music or is it gonna continue to be sort of are there any artists out there that you know that you think could actually make a shift in the culture? And I'm talking about musically. It just seems to me that it's gonna become harder and harder to blow up in this music stuff and it's easy to get like a little bit of clout or a little bit of fame or a little bit of plays, but it's really hard to get a new big artist. It's just kind of people that are out here just doing little things at a time just so YouTubers and media and whatever have just a little something to talk about. Like I said, there are many pitfalls to this argument. There's a lot of things that don't add up. There's probably some things I said that contradicted myself. There's definitely some things that you can argue against and I'm totally open for that discussion. I hope that this theory actually made some sense to you and if you agreed with it, definitely let me know. And if you totally disagree or you wanna just put your opinion on it, feel free to comment down below. I'm actually gonna be reading these comments because I'm interested to see what you guys think or what you guys think could be the future, maybe an obscure artist or something. I think that 2019 heading into 2020, we're entering a new decade. Maybe this decade has just seen everything that it has to offer and there's just a new generation or a new wave coming that we just can't predict. But, I mean, nothing. It can't be like this forever. Something has to happen. <laughs> but we'll see. My name is Patrick CC. I'm out.